Spider-Man Life Story issue number 3, Spider-Man's Life During the 80s Era. Here we have Mary Jane, who is pregnant. And with her is Aunt May, but it looks like she... Aunt May is 90, it looks like she might have been, is now losing memories because she thinks MJ is Gwen. And as MJ's pink thought bubble says, she's pregnant with twins. So in this reality, Peter and MJ have two children. The only time Peter had two kids with MJ is in the Spider-Girl universe. Nineteen eighty four Secret War is happening. And as we can look like here, Peter's costume has altered yet again. And he even looks older, just like Reed is. But of course, with Secret Wars, there's the Black Suit storyline. Or I should say the Symbiote Suit storyline. You know, I, I'm still glad they kept the classic Symbiote look, but I think it would have been more freaking cooler if the suit looked a little different with Pierce's different when blue suit. That That is just my opinion. Now, the fine thing is, though, we don't get to see an image or any page that have Black Cat in this universe at all, which is kind of a bit sad, but it's how fans are. Let's see. Peter is now back at, I guess, him and MJ's home. Uh, Benjamin is his son's name. As for his daughter, it's Claire, I think it's. And right now, Peter feels a little guilty because he wasn't there to help MJ through this. Which, I can't blame him. I mean, this is one of the most important things of his life, and he messed out because he... Got whooped in by be the Beyonder stupid contest of the ultimate battle between good and evil. That's Susan Storm. We got Vision. And of course we have Craven's Last Hunt. Yeah. I need to use the lens cleaner on my tablet. And look, because of Craven not wearing the new black suit, in which at this point Peter still has the symbiote. So we're getting Craven's last hunt storyline in here, but this time with Peter with the symbiote suit. Oh my god, Marvel Spider-Man 2 might be taking some little cues from Life Story if you think about it. Holy shit, I just realized that. But look, Peter morphs the black suit into his classic... When blue suit, the first, his starting out outfit, his, <laughs> the outfit we see him wearing originally throughout most of his career in the main 616 universe, and the first time he wears it in the first issue. Let's see.
Oh, yeah, that's right. Peter has his own corporation in this universe as well. It's called Parker Industries. Hmm, Peter still kept his original suit. Craven with a gun. Craven is just fucking savage in here, because he even looks older, which is funny. And Spider-Man's even pleading for his life, not telling Craven don't do this because he has a family. And what does this motherfucker do? Still shoots him and then buries him alive. And the symbiote is busting out to save Peter. You could technically count this as Peter turning into Venom because he is now pissed. And to be honest, who wouldn't it be? And now we have Craven pretending to be Spider Man, but then the wheel deal shows up. Yep, turning into Venom right here. Peter had a gun ready for the costume? Holy shit. Uh, it looks like MJ is moving out. Now, I don't know at this part of the issue did they technically got separated or... She said to Peter, look, for right now, I'm just going to take the case somewhere safe to figure this out. Because this is the part that like confuses me here. Peter being sad. We have Craven, who's about to commit suicide, but then the symbiote saves him. That's the end of issue three. Now, issue number four, the 90s era. Which that means there was something related to the clone saga. Catch you guys later.